disbursement they say will take place July. I think that is the reason why all the president of all CEOs are coming out to address the masses. They need to come out and address the masses so that we can be informed and be notified what is happening in the grand space. Now, listen to what was said in this uh, VN, because the national presidents and the, all the CEOs, they need to come together to form alliance in order for this thing to take place smoothly. We are still in the month of July, and we are still hopeful. So guys, subscribe to this channel for more updates, and share this video on your social media platform. Appreciate you guys for stopping by, and bye for now. Good morning, Nigerians. My wonderful leaders, I greet you all. Major stakeholders of all grants in Nigeria, more especially UAAG, UAX grants. Special greetings to all my state chairmen and their executives. Special thanks to the National Working Committee. Special appreciation to all the national executives, the security team, the task force team, and the, the other committees working hard to see that everything is fine. I appreciate you all. A project committee and uh, every other team we have in the house. It is good I come your way this morning because we are not part of noisemakers and we can never be part of noisemakers. And it is said that an empty noise may get the highest noise. And uh, we cannot be part of such because we believe that the joy of the masses should be our strength. And whatever you do, you do it knowing that's affecting somebody out there. It will be very bad every day you wake up, you hear insults, you hear abuse, you hear this, you hear that against the joy of the masses. I believe what the masses want to hear now is far from all this insult and all this, that, and that we are talking every day. Our expectations are now very high and need no more distractions. What we needed now is way forward. And what is that way forward? As a leader, dig, find out what is actually happening and how will you put laughter to the eyes of the masses, to the people. It is important we note all this. Whoever that speaks in the platform, since you know that it's not relevant to you, please leave it. If anybody speaks jargon, leave it. Whatever anybody speaks, the person speaks to waste his or own time, not your business. Leave that person. Let us face what is ahead of us. It's more important than challenging, talking, abusing, and all the rest of them. I, Ambassador Dr. Pascal Anyamwis, after the joy of my people, nothing more, nothing less. I have no time to respond to anybody. Whatever you like, talk. You are talking on your own. Because I know I have a place I'm going to. And until I get there, I will never turn back to any distraction. And this is me for you. My people, again, I will say, Calm your minds down. We are expecting disbursement, and that is all we should be concerned of. If there's any noise you need to make, go to God in prayer, make your noise unto Him, tell Him, Father, give us this. Many people, if you don't know the state of people, I'll be telling you their state. Not when you talk, people are suffering their this, and you are still increasing their sufferings. It is very bad. Do you know the report I receive every day on the sufferings of the masses, of what they are passing through? of their pens, of their predicaments. School is about entering exams now. So many children are still in their house. So many children are still in their house. Their parents can't even afford their school fees. Some people are there distracting us. 
every day raising issues. And if you love yourself and love what we're expecting, please, every general platform should lock up their platforms. Let only relevant information be sent in the platform henceforth to avoid all these distractions here and there. Do you know how many people that are in the hospital as I speak to you? Do you know how many homes, this is rainy season, that have chased out of their houses? Do you know how many that their businesses have completely collapsed because of the money they borrowed? Do you know how many people that are having cases in the court because of the money they are owing? Do you know how many people that have already died? Do you know how many are still in the mortuary that there's no money to bury? Why are we heartless? Why are we this heartless? Eh? Why are we this heartless? Be focused on to what is before us. Be focused. It is only when there is peace in the land that the land, that the land produces something good. If there is no peace in the land, tell me how can that land produce good things. You left your house, you quarrel with your family, and you go out they think something good will follow you back home. It is not true. It's only when your family tells you good luck, bye-bye, that you can come back with something reasonable and good to the house. Where are we this, 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 this kind of human beings? Eh? We only wake up, we talk. Our talks has no direction, has no basis, and we are still talking. We are still making those noise. Why, this, why all these fights? Why all these distractions? If the government committee are working, let us support them by prayers. Not the, no, there's nothing more you can do to them. They're not the one who is going there to force them to disperse the money. Is there any other thing you can do to the management of UAAG? It is to pray for them. Pray for the country director. It's not being sentimental. It is the reality we need to tell you to do. Nobody is against anybody. Personally, I'm not against any human being. But like I said earlier, it will be very bad that we all are looking up to something from the source in which we all subscribe to. And today, we all want to rise and start fighting that same source which we, which we subscribe to. Whether that government is going to give you grant or not going to give you grant, that grant must come to somewhere. And on a good day, we must know where the grant comes from. But for now, please, my dear people, let us, let us calm down and face what is before us. I still never still believe that there are people that are enemies here. If you are, you're your own. Because God will disgrace every enemy. Yeah, I'm sure of that. God will disgrace every enemy of the masses. I'm optimistic. I mean what I'm saying. I never still believe that they are there enemy anywhere. And if there are, which means you are fighting the poor masses, you are fighting the damn trolling of this nation, and the God will rise against such people. The way they will never come out of it. The way they will regret it all their, all, all, all their life. Don't tell me A and you are doing B. Don't tell me C and you are doing D. It is wrong. Let us learn to be leaders. Let us learn to have people's passion in us. Where the shoe people are, other people are wearing. Wear that same shoe those suffering masses are wearing and see how hard and difficult it is. I beg everybody here. It is high time we learn how to focus. Mind your business. Leave other people's business. If I don't want this particular thing, the best thing I do is to leave it and go my way. Allow those who believe in that to believe. Don't distract them and don't fight them. Whatever you believe, we, you, have, you, have, you have their choice of choosing where to believe. You have your mind to believe where you want to believe. Everybody has his mind to believe where you want to believe. Why fighting each other? Allow me to be where I want to be. Be where you want to be. Let us be there peacefully and stop fighting what we are supposed to fight. After it's not today they start eating our money. It's not today they start swallowing our money. It's not today a lot of things start happening to us. But we are still living up to today. And we will still live even after now. Nobody has that power to take our lives. Yes, the suffering is too much. And it's telling on us.
That is why I said everybody should be focused on what is before us. Everybody should be focused on what we are expecting. Everybody should, should be focused and allow distraction to give way. Because allowing all these distractions will still begin to cause issues from here to there and what have you. CEOs all over the 36 states, the executive of all CEOs, because here you are the major stakeholders of these grants. Please do not be distracted. Don't let anyone distract you. Focus on what is before us. Today is Monday. If there's anything you are to do, if there's anything you are to do, pray to God. Never to allow this week to pass us by. Pray to God to help us because the heart of a king is in the hand of God. He controls everything. Pray to God and commit the government committee into the hand of God. Let this money be delivered into our account. And let us all have peace and go our separate ways. For those who want to, wherever you can, you are free. I'm bringing to you, my dear people, this morning, the message of peace, the message of happiness, the message of full expectation. Everybody should calm down. We are there. I will not say almost again. We are there by the grace of God. Just let to finishing touches now. Today is Monday. Pray harder that everything gets through. And they will smile. We'll be happy. The joy of the Lord will remain our strength. Please, I beg you all, relax your minds. We're on course. And the right course indeed. God is on our side. God is with us. And we can never be disgraced. We can never be disgraced. Our God is at work. Seriously at work. And the sooner before you know it, jubilation will be everywhere. Pray harder for the management. Pray harder for the committee. Pray harder for our lives. We shall be, we shall be in good health to enjoy this wonderful fruit of our labors. And we will not die before the time. May God grant us good health of mind and body. May we be in good state to enjoy this blessing God has given to us. I will say again, please, in that high spirit we have now, please, add it up with prayers. And don't let anybody distract your mind again. We are on course, on your, on your, and on a very right course. It is here with us it is here with us it is here with us relax your minds everywhere you are put your house in order some people are still making noise their house are not in order they have not put they are not arranged what they're supposed to arrange they are not they have not put what they're supposed to put in place please allow those who want to abuse who want to talk who want to cause allow them to be doing it please don't be distracted anymore don't answer anybody don't ask anybody. Because what he said, that silence is the best answer to that person who don't know what he's doing. That person who rants and makes noise. The best answer to that person is to keep that person quiet. If the person has anything to do with you, let the person come out and face you man one to one and whatever. Then you face it out. I don't, I, I don't believe in noise making. I don't believe in talking like a fool who don't know what I'm doing. No. Talk like a wise person. Talk like a leader. Don't talk like a person that has been pushed from somewhere. Don't talk like a person that has been motivated from somewhere. Talk like a confident man with himself. God will help us. Please, all CEOs in Nigeria, all state executives, all the national and the national executives, and the working committee, every one of you Please should put your house in order. Prepare yourselves. Be in full expectation. The only person you can face right now is God. Talk to him. Plead to him. Intercede. That God delivers this money in our hand. Now. 
while you will see it in action right now. Also, everything is, 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 is by the grace of God, everything is almost rounded up. We are only expected to hear the good news. Why distractions? Why all this? My dear people, we are there. We are there. Calm down. And don't be fooled by anybody again. Focus. Because every single has people by, be behind you. You have people that you are leading. Be focused and stop distracting them. Stop making them to look like enemy to others. They are causing enmity between friends, between people who are supposed to be good friends at the end of this disbursement. How can I begin to look at some people's face and they still accept to have business with you after this disbursement? Instead of we making friends, we are making enemies, creating enmity, creating this and that from among us. Is that what those of us who are Muslims, is that what God teach you? Those of us who are Christians, is that what God teach you? That you create enmity here and there? At what we claim we are children of God. We claim uh, Allah created us. Did he create us with all these purposes and these wicked minds we are, we, we, we are bringing in? The answer is no. Live in peace with all men. It's what he told us. Whether Muslim, whether Christian, live in peace with all men. If there are any vengeance, let it be for God. You are not the one you cannot fight for God. You are too small to fight for God. God has seen the cry of the masses. The widows are here. The orphans are here. The damn trodden of Nigerians are here. The poor masses are here. Look at how we are causing more pain to their hearts, to them. Anybody causing this anymore will not go free. You will not go free. We will not go free. I'm telling you this, you will not go free. That you're making noise does not matter. What matters is when the action will come. Can you be able to can you face it? That's what matters here. It's not by making notes from wherever you are coming from. The question is, can you face it when the time comes? Is the answer. Is the question I'm asking you. And you need to answer it to yourself. Don't answer it to me. When I like talk from night to tomorrow, I have no business to answer you. But when I will answer you, I will answer you. It's simple. I'm not, I'm not that kind of human being. I have, I'm, I'm focused. I know where I'm going to. And I cannot be distracted by anybody. I can never be distracted by anybody. Please, my people, everybody should calm down. Relax your mind. Pray harder like never before. God has already delivered us. Everything we are looking for, by the grace of God, will be with us any moment. Be happy. And keep putting your hands in order. Put it in to put in order. And our God will never fail us. I am a humble leader. Your focused leader. Ambassador Dr. Pascal Anyangu. Today, by the grace of God, this is 11.17 a.m. 11.17 a.m. By the grace of God. And today is Monday. Today is Monday. I think if uh, I'm not mistaken, today is Monday, the, the eighth day of July, 2024. Please do have a blessed day. May God preserve us. We will be strong in body and in mind. And may we never be cut short to receiving this blessing from God. Remain blessed and do have a lovely day. Thank you all.